what I got. Spence Check, it's his new gig now, ESPN 700, yep. 2 to 6 every single day. In fact, you, you're going to let me come out there and hang out with you a little bit occasionally. Tomorrow we get you on air for an entire hour. Oh, tomorrow? Yeah. 3 o'clock. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Do I need to schedule what are you gonna, it through You're going to give me or? my questions like I've given you? Oh, I've, I've got stuff prepared oh, okay, right. for you tomorrow, Dave Fox. Can't wait. All right, little segment we're going to do here a couple times a month called Five Questions with Spence, and here they are. He knows uh, some of them. He doesn't know all of them. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm going to be surprised. Are you right? ready? Okay, but let's, let's go. Let's Question go. one. After watching BYU beat USC, how is your confidence level in the Utes trip to Southern Cal? Better, worse, or about the same? Kalani Sataki did to Keaton Slovis what Kyle Whittingham did to Zach Wilson. And if BYU can confuse Keaton Slovis, Utah can too. I think Utah wins on Friday. I'm not sure that's close. Okay, then that leads into the second question. What is more likely this weekend? Utes and Cougars both win. Utes and Cougars both lose. Only the Utes win. Only the Cougars win. I'm going to go with only Utah wins. Washington is a 6.5 point favorite in Provo. Utah's a four point favorite in Los Angeles. So I say Utah beats USC. Washington comes into town and, and beats BYU. There you go. All right. Now, this is an interesting Bank on one. it. Get rich, kids. Those are the lines you want to look at. <laughs> Maybe let's start another thing. Call right now, 1-800. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Let's do it. Um, we've got a little bit of a, uh, a sampling size that's probably not equal because Jordan Love played the one full game, only played half the Stony Brook game, and then mm -hmm. they went on a bye. But given that, after three games, eyeball test, according to you, now who is the best quarterback in the Saints? Tyler Huntley, Zach Wilson. Jordan Love. Jordan Love is one. I'm not sure that it's close. And I think Tyler's two. And I think Zach is three. And I know, I know that's kind of an unpopular opinion. I feel like, I don't feel like Tyler's getting enough credit for the five game stretch he had last year where he was one of the best quarterbacks in the entire country. Right. We haven't seen Andy Ludwig open up his playbook yet. And with Zach Wilson, we've seen some incredible snapshot moments, but I'm not sure. I just think we, I think a lot of BYU fans gave him too much praise early on. I had somebody on my show yesterday said he had he has the legs of Steve Young and the arm of Jim McMahon. So can we just chill wow, out for a little bit? I think he's phenomenally talented, but at this point I go Jordan Love one, I go Tyler Huntley two, I go Zach Wilson three. But all three are very good players. And Jordan Love, by the way, at San Diego State this week. Right. So we'll right. see how that he's works. He's gonna play on Sundays, Jordan Love is. There you go. Yep. All right, new topic, FIBA, World Cup. And I'm gonna need you to expand a little bit on this one, but uh, the USA did not look good, incidentally, yeah. which is another topic in and of itself. But Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, Joe Ingles, they played a lot. Yeah. And now Jazz Open Camp in a couple of weeks. Is that too much basketball for those guys as no. we look ahead? So I'm going to say no, and here's why. Um, they're all going to come in camp in phenomenal shape, okay? And and last year when Donovan was hurt um, to start out the, the year in the offseason, I think it affected his conditioning a little bit, and it took him a little bit of time to get into game shape. And uh, you never worry about Rudy because he works out so much. But Joey Ingles a little bit is the type of guy that I think having a summer under his belt with the Boomers, and he started and played an awful the lot, boomers, I love will, that, will, will be advantageous if for, if for no other reason. All three of those guys will hit the ground running when it comes to training camp in NBA-ready shape. So um, I, I get the, you know, the attrition. Are you concerned about injuries a little bit? I'd be far more concerned if all three of them end up playing in the Olympics next year where you go FIBA World Cup, NBA season, which probably is going to include a deep playoff run okay. and then Olympics. So we can have the same conversation next year. And I think I'm, okay. I may have a different take for you. I'm going to go off script and ask one more question. Why do they call them the boomers? What, what um, I, so I, I'm not exactly sure. Australia. The Australian men's national team, I mean, part of me believes, you know, is it the magic mushroom situation where Ooh, Australian okay. players are just down in boomers Whatever left and right? But I honestly have no idea. It's just that's the nickname <laughs> for their team, the boomers. Okay. The boomers. We'll, we'll allow it. Okay, last question. Can the Jets get any worse? No, oh, jeez. So this I is mean, why can you want to know. the Jets get any worse? But look, at this point, it's not even about the Jets it. being bad. It's also about horrific luck. Like, think about this. The starting quarterback, Sam Darnold, is out for the season. It's not because With he got Mano. hurt during a game. Yeah. It's not because he failed a drug test. It's because he was making out with sorority girls. What? He has mono. That's the only way you get mono. Well, it's the main way. Okay. Main way. And then last night, the backup quarterback, Trevor Simeon, steps in. And on the second drive, his ankle snaps in half. He's out for the season. Yep. It's a joke. Luke so, Falk, by the way, uh, Logan Hyde. Logan's draft. own. Okay. He's our quarterback now. But, no, the Jets are pathetic, but that's not a surprise. Are, are they the worst team in New York in all? Of, I mean, Knicks, Whew. Giants, Jets. Man, and, I would say the Knicks, because the Knicks have been a joke for 20 years. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so at have. this point, I would say the Knicks won, Jets too, and both of them happen to be teams that I grew up rooting for, unfortunately. Okay. What a waste, Lady yeah, on Bell. Yeah, it is indeed. Okay. Wait, you pretend to be a Cowboys fan, is that I am right? A, I grew up in Dallas. I oh, am a Cowboys no. fan. All right.
I didn't, you know, we both at Convenient. least. I didn't have a layover in an airport and <laughs> bought a T-shirt, and suddenly I'm a fan. Convenient. Now that they're two and out this year. Spence, check it. Five you, check. Five questions. We'll continue to do this, and you can hear them every day on ESPN 700 from two to six. And I believe tomorrow I'm going to be there for an hour. Day five. That's all you Three can to four handle. tomorrow. Love it. Okay. Can't wait. Thanks for coming. Good to see man. you, brother. Appreciate it.